Hello guys and welcome back to Jer Jerry's Garden channel. Thank you very much for new subscribers and don't forget if you like this video, like it, click subscribe, little bell and click uh, for the notifications for another videos to come. What we did in this uh, in today's video, I would like to share with you my uh, face oil uh, recipe. Uh, I've got a client and she requested a uh, face oil she can use overnight. And I will show you my sort of uh, process and we're gonna talk about three different curry oils incorporated in this blend and about the benefits, three different essential oils as well. And we're gonna talk uh, about this blend as a, in general. Right, let's go on it. Uh, I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible. And what we're gonna need today is the mixing device. Uh, ideally should be glass. Then you need 20 milliliters uh, dripple bottle. You can get these from Amazon or eBay or other sellers. Then you've got the two beakers. I already pre-measured my curry oils, but I will talk about them, them in just one second. And it's one glass beaker. And I've got one plastic one as well. Also remember, if you mix uh, essential oils with the curry oils, you really should use the glass because some essential oils can uh, attach to the plastic uh, beaker and they will stay, stay on and it's quite hard to get them off and also can interact with the plastic. Right, that's what we need for today. Easy, we don't need basically anything else in case of measuring devices and the containers. And now I'm gonna talk about the curry oils. I selected three curry oils and the reason why is that because each of them's got a different properties but also two of these oils I'm using, they have to be diluted with another curry oil. And I will tell you why. But the first oil, I'm using the rosehip oil. I'm getting all my curry oils from the, the soapery.co.uk, which is a great shop. If you want to have a look, they've got a large selection of the curry oils. And uh, the rosehip oil is, uh, rosehip is promoting skin regeneration, also preventing premature aging and must be used in dilution, dilution. And the reason why is that because when it's extracted from the rose hips, it's very strong. It's usually refined because the uh, first like cold press before it's refined, the uh, color is very dark and uh, pink. But rose hip oil is incorporated in wide variety of skincare products on the market. And the reason why is for the benefits I just said, but it has to be diluted because if it's not diluted, it actually can uh, cause the skin irritation. Uh, you can get get the rashes and stuff like that because it's high contain, uh, content of vitamin C and other uh, compounds in the oil. The next oil I selected is the avocado oil. But the avocado oil uh, is actually extracted from the avocados as a fruit, from the green bit, not from the stone. And the avocado oil is rich in vitamin A, B1, B2 and D. But also avocado oil is well known in aromatherapy as a, one of the best oils that uh, penetrating into the epidermis. That means it's deeply moisturizing, uh, also softening skin. And if you blend that with essential oils, it, it gets into your bloodstream much more easier and uh, quicker because this oil is really get into the epidermis when you've got the blood supplies. And also, this oil's got a slight odor. The color, I will show you here, I already blended it. As you can see, it's like split into two colors. The top one is avocado oil, which is like dark green uh, color and the bottom is uh, the uh, rosehip oil. I did five milliliters of rosehip oil and the five milliliters of the avocado oil. Okay and and if you if you just use the avocado oil the odor can actually take over the essential oils and it's not every person smell basically. And the last oil I'm using is macadamia nut oil. The macadamia nut oil, I'm using 10, mil 10 milliliters of that. It's already here. And the macadamia nut curry oil uh, offering protection from anti-aging caused by sun. And also uh, 
is very nutritious and containing vitamin vitamins like niacin, riboflamin, thiamine, but also it's good source of magnesium. Right, this is all my free carryalls we're using today. I'm just gonna put them on the side. Again, you can get them from uh, many other suppliers. I'm just using the soapery because uh, they're very efficient, free postage and so on. Right, now we're gonna talk about the uh, essential oils I uh, selected. Right now, some people will, uh, will say, oh, oh, no, though, uh, careful with that, because one of the first one is the bergamot. The bergamot, the Latin name is Citrus bergamia. However, if you use in the bergamot, you need to be very careful. You can use the bergamot in uh, everyday uh, face oil because the bergamot causing photosensitivity. What does it mean? You go, you apply your face oil in the morning, feel fabulous, go out, uh, full sun, and you will end up uh, like a raspberry because your uh, face get burned. Uh, the history of bergamot actually goes uh, back quite uh, a while back. However, in 80s and 90s, bergamot was actually used in the sun tanning lotions before actually it was discovered that it caused photosensitivity. And what does it do? The bergamot can trigger a uh, production of melanin in your uh, skin, which the, the, it is responsible for that nice brown color you get in your skin. However, it's not anymore, and I would not recommend to use this oil for any daily products when skin is exposed to sun, especially now in this sort of weather. But because my client using this in night time, I can use the bergamot in this plant because in the morning she do the face clear uh, cleanse and use in the serum. Right, uh, about the bergamot is antiseptic and healing action. Uh, seems to benefit oily skins, uh, combination skins. Uh, it's got anti-wrinkle properties and also uh, this oil is very good for the skin if there is any issues with like anti-aging connection to stress but also improve other uh, conditions like eczema, acne, wounds and sores. I'm using only two drops of bergamot in this blend. But the next uh, oil is Ilang Ilang. But the bergamot is my top note, Ilang Ilang is my base note. And the Ilang Ilang, the uh, Latin name is Kanaga Odorata. And the uh, Ilang Ilang has got very uh, good uh, action on sebum. Uh, it's very balancing. And what does it do is it's very effective for combination skin because from my consultation with client, I know her skin is combination skin. And that's oil I will go for because it's really balancing down sebum and produce the uh, oil uh, to keep the skin moisturized. And my last oil, it is Mimosa. Mimosa is very, uh, the, the Latin name is Acacia del Bata. And this is my middle note, which we've got the Ilang Ilang base note, Mimosa middle note, and the Bergamot top note. And the Mimosa has anti-inflammatory and antiseptic uh, action. And when diluted in blends, uh, it actually has useful astringent property for oily or combination skin. Which, as you can see, all these oils working with skin, if you've got a combination skin, balancing the sebum, it's got the anti-aging, anti-inflammatory and healing properties. And this will create, with combination, these three essential oils and my carry oils, it will be very nourishing, very powerful face blend. Okay, now I would like to talk about the blend as a, in general before I blend it. This is my little pie chart I will show you. This is all these three oils added together. It's uh, because it's 1.5% face oil, which is the upper uh, sort of uh, uh, border when it's the safe. It should be between one 
and 1.5% uh, strength if you're using your oil, oils or your blends on your face. And from here, from this little pie, I just tell you like three uh, chemical compounds that are uh, most representative. I got some little uh, notes here on the piece of paper that I want to tell you more about this uh, chemical compounds. And the one of the first one are esters which this blend will contain 33.3% in 20 milliliter bottle. And it will be, uh, esters are from the most widespread group of compounds in plant essence and fragrances. Ester, esters are generally safe with low toxicity, uh, with few exceptions, like for example, uh, Sabinyl acetate, which is a, uh, in Spanish sage essential oil and esters uh, are having gentle action similar to alcohols sweet and fruity odors they also are antifungal anti-inflammatory antispasmodic calming and tonic to a nervous system and also effective on skin rashes another chemical compound which uh, has got the, uh, the biggest proportion as well is alcohols the alcohols are considered the most therapeutically beneficial uh, uh, compounds in the essential oils with low toxicity, pleasant fragrance and alcohol I, alcohols are usually hazard free and non-skin irritating. Uh, essential oil, oils high in the alcohols can be actually gen they are, uh, classified as generally safe and uh, generally safe on children or elderly. However, uh, don't uh, think like, oh, now is high in the alcohol, I can use it. No, do your research about your oils before you do any uh, skincare products. And the last one is sequiterpens. Uh, sequiterpens uh, make up a large group of terpenes in essential oil or in the plant world. Uh, they are practically significant in aromatherapy. They are antiseptic, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, calming and slightly hypotensive, and some analgesic and antispasmodic. Uh, sequiterpens uh, and they are derived uh, are of practical interest uh, owing to their important pharmaceutical activities which this is this blend is very powerful this is 33.3 percent of esters 24.7 percent of alcohol and 15.2 percent of sequiterpenes can sometimes sit down right okay this is just a blend like give you some sort of overlook look how you uh, create these uh, blends now let's get blending then as I say I've got my macadamia nut oil here I've got my uh, oh god <laughs> avocado oil and my uh, Rosehip oil here. I'm sorry, I just completely forget what I wanted to say. And now, as you can see, it's a split. I'm gonna use this and I'm just gonna mix it together. It's now getting some, some light green color. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add this into my macadamia nut oil. Okay. We've got everything out, and again, I'm just gonna slightly stir it. And you can see the color is a little bit cloudy, which is that's absolutely fine because that's from the avocado oil, golden color. And if you smell, you can only smell a tiny bit of the avocado oil which is great because when you put the essential oils into your blend this uh, other 
will disappear if well the essential oils actually mask these other right that's us always remember mix your essential oils into the glass beaker as you can see there is little tiny bit of less than 20 milliliters and the reason why is because if i measure exactly 20 milliliters i wouldn't be able to fit the essential oils or the bottle will be too full now let's uh, add our essential oils two drops of bergamot two drops of mimosa one two four and two drops of ylang ylang right remember you've got the ylang ylang as your base note mimosa as a middle note and bergamot as a top note now what i'm going to do i'm going to mix this all together all these oils And then th this is your blend you can try it as you can see it's got the, like golden color fabulous and what you're just going to do you're gonna take the beaker add it to the bottle Then you just need, need your label sticking on it, your lid, and your blend is done. If you like this video, please subscribe, hit the like, like button, and I hope you enjoyed that. It was a little bit deep into the chemistry, a little bit of deep into the carrier oils or essential oils, but I think it's important that you understand that uh, blending essential oils is not just like I'm just going to do a few drops this, few drops that. Uh, and I'm gonna have a, a brilliant result. Also, like sometimes I feel like carriers are quite forgotten because they've got very important uh, role in the blending as well. And I think that just open your little bit of your eyes and see, you know, what what you can do. Right. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you like it, or oh, comment it down below, and, uh, and uh, I will answer your questions. And I will see you here again soon. Take care, guys. Stay safe, stay home, and save lives.